Because you stood up. I want to welcome you all to this evening's council meeting. Pleasure to see you here. Everybody's uh, bright eyed and ready to go. Welcome you too. Except me. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. All right. I think first thing out of the barrel is we got some ladies out there that want to talk to us. Is that correct? Yes, that is. <laughs> We're ready to be talked to. Okay. Right, we got a vote on this? See what we <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to have them up front here? Is that going to go Okay. You're sure, anywhere right there. <laughs> Well, my name is Paige Gardner, and I'm a coordinator for the Tree Planting Princesses, and I'm proud to introduce our 2013 Tree Planting Court, Princess Nianna, Princess Sherilyn, and Princess Amanda. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm a 17-year-old junior, and my name is Leanna Dick. My parents are Tony Dick and Andrea Sherilyn. I've lived in Oak Ridge my entire life, and I love it here. I'm a two-sport athlete. I play as a wing for the varsity volleyball team, and I'm a... No, <laughs> varsity basketball team. And I'm a wing for the varsity basketball basketball team and a setter for the varsity volleyball team. Without sports, I'm not sure what I do with my free time. They definitely will be something I miss most once I graduate high school. I also work a part-time job down at the local subway and have been for almost two years now. Working there, I think, has really made me a more mature person and definitely made me realize life isn't all about having fun. I've also been, been taught a very big life lesson, which was you have to live every moment like it's your last. Last November, I went through open heart surgery, and they told me if I hadn't got the surgery, I wouldn't be here today. So that was a really big eye opener for me, and definitely made me grateful for all the things I have in life. I always hear people talking about Oak Ridge and saying how they wish they lived somewhere else or in a bigger city, and I just think, are you crazy? Yeah, Oak Ridge may not be the ideal place for some families, but it is for me and my family. We enjoy hunting, fishing, camping, and all that good stuff. You don't even have to go far to do some of the things we enjoy. Uh, Oak Ridge isn't just known for its beauty, though. It used to be a big logging town, and my roots run deep in the old Oak Ridge logging community. My great-grandpa Harold once owned his own logging company in Reesport, Oregon, and his son, my grandpa, Doug, had the Oak Ridge logging supply shop, and both him and my dad worked at it while it was operating. So you can only imagine all the back-in-the-day stories I hear, and it really did sound like a great time. Oak Ridge may have gotten rid of logging, but has kept one thing the same for 60 years now, and that'd be this tree planting festival, and I'm honored to be a part of it. I wish we could bring back some old events, like they used to do logging demonstrations, and even one year they did a sailboat race up at the Hills Creek Dam, and I think that'd be really neat to see. But this year has some great events, too. On Saturday, May 4th, go to the Flat Creek Work Center and do the Salmon Run Slash Walk, which will be starting at 9 a.m., and that same day at the Oak Ridge Elementary School Gym as a community arts fair. And then Sunday, May 5th, join us, us princesses and members of your community and help us plant trees across from Green Waters Park. And I really hope this tradition never stops because one day when I have kids, I want to be able to bring them to the parade and all the events and watch them have as much fun as I once did and as I still do today. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Oak Ridge has been my home my entire life, and I love this amazing little town. Welcome, everyone. I am Sherilyn Dean, the daughter of Roy and Jackie Dean. My brother Seth and his fiance, Haven Kenley, have blessed me with my beautiful niece, Kimber Faye. My grandma and step-grandma are Connie Keller and Cliff Hemmel. My grandparents are Barbara and Roy Dean Sr. They reside in Colorado Springs, Colorado. My grandpa Orville Keller and my grandma Betty Smith are in heaven watching over me. I am a junior at Oak Ridge High School and my favorite class is anatomy and physiology. Mr. Marple makes it fun to learn and it pertains to my goal for my future, which is to become a nurse and work in the labor and delivery unit at the hospital. I am a two-sport athlete, volleyball being my favorite and softball is my second. Being an athlete has taught me the values of being, being a team player. My coaches, Aaron Gardner, Rhonda Gardner, and David Gordon have been great inspirations in my life. They have taught me self-discipline, commitment, positive attitude for the team, and to be confident in my abilities as an athlete. These are all qualities I will continue to develop and use the rest of my life. I have been involved with many PTSO activities as my mom has been a member of the organization for several years. <laughs> they have always allowed me to help with whatever I was able to do and it has taught me how important volunteering in our community is. Oak Ridge is the perfect town to live in. It is surrounded by all the things my family and I love to do like hunting, fishing, and camping. Our favorite place to camp is at Wicked Reservoir. The first few years we camped there was in the area known as Willow Creek. 
The reason it is called Little Oak Ridge is because the majority of people that camp there are from Oak Ridge, like the Snyders, Pals, Squirtles, and the Dukes. I have many memories from there, like the time when a couple of the people in our group were running quads on the beach, and Don the Duke taught us in his own special way how to respect others quiet time. If you know Don, you can only imagine how he taught us. Oak Ridge's central location allows me to do my most favorite thing, which is going to the coast. It is always so beautiful on the beach, and I have a blast riding quads on the beach. Also, my boyfriend Clay and his family live there. They have influenced my life in so many positive aspects, and I cannot thank them enough for accepting me into their lives. As far back as I can remember, I have loved the tree planting festival. Of course, the best part is little kids going to the party and getting candy. I didn't realize just how many activities there are for all ages. I would like to invite all of you to the quilt show to see the awesome talent of several quilters. This event is held at the United Methodist Church on Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So please, check it out. On Saturday, Sunday, and Monday nights, there will be a dinner theater presented by the amazing Zero Clearance Theater Company. This event is held at West Church Middle School. The doors open at 5.30, dinner will be served at 6, and the play will begin at 7. Would you like to see some other great talent? Please join us in the High School Auditorium at 7 p.m. on Friday night for the talent show and coordination. This is always a fun time by all. As I have grown older, I have come to realize that this wonderful event has much more meaning to it. If not for the generations of timber and mill workers, our wonderful little town may not have ever came to be. I enjoy listening to stories about back in the day from some of the elderly people of the community. <coughs> Speaking of back in the day, in 1969, they projected there were 1,200 to 1,500 people in attendance for the tree planting festival. I think it would be great to see that many people attend the events now. Also, did you know, from 1953 to approximately 1976, they held the coronation ball after coronation? I think it would fun be fun to bring the coronation ball back. Being a part of the tree planting court is a great honor. The knowledge and experience I will gain will help me grow as a person. Sharing this with my friends Leanna and Amanda will be one of those memories I'll look back on and bring a smile to my face as friendship is the golden thread that ties the heart of all the world. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Come here. Well, my name is Amanda Aguilar, and I am a 16-year-old junior, and I am in the class of 2014. I'm the fourth generation here in Oak Ridge. My parents are Ralph and Nancy Aguilar. My dad is a logger and my mom works at Lane Electric. My dad's parents are Pete and Betty Aguilar. My grandpa Pete works for Pope and Talbot. No wait, he works for the railroad. <laughs> and my mom or my mom's parents are Chuck and Sandy Henderson. My grandpa Chuck worked for Pope and Talbot until his untimely death in 1971. My grandma Sandy has worked in many places, but in her most recent years, Postal Pharmacy, where she has now retired. My grandma Sandy was with my Papa Jim for many years. He worked at Pope and Talbot and retired in the 80s. Recently, this year before he passed away, he gave me all of his tree planting buttons, which I now have every button that was ever issued. Since I'm the fourth generation here, I have great grandparents. I have my great grandpa Walt and Pearl Henderson. My grandpa Walt worked at Pope and Talbot. And my grandma Pearl worked for Maxie's Market, now known as Rascals. My great grandpa Earl and Sarah Knudsen were here. And my grandpa Earl was a log truck driver, and my grandma Sarah worked at the Oak Ridge Elementary School as a cook. My sister is Alicia Aguilar. She works at Pulse Pharmacy and for the state of Oregon, taking care of the young autistic boy. In 2008 and 9, she too was a tree planting princess. I lived in Oak Ridge my whole life. I love living in such a small town. I'm a three sport athlete. I run cross country, play basketball, and do chat. After graduation, I plan on going to cosmetology school and taking some business classes. Over the years, there's been many things. There was once, well, in many years there was things, but there was <laughs> a large carnival that was held down by A&W, <coughs> logging competitions, a whiskerino contest where men would throw out their beards, and Large groups of people would go up into the logging units and would replant the trees. <coughs> We've seen many things come and go, but over the, but, hold on. <laughs> but luckily the main things are still here, like the parade, the planting of the trees, the coronation, the talent show, and most importantly, our community coming together and having fun. I'm so honored and excited to get this opportunity and experience to share with my friend, Lana and Sherilyn. The parade will be on May 4th, at 11 a.m., and the mini Olympics are held afterwards, located at the high school track. Thank you. You all have valid. 
once in front of you, I think, or maybe all of us will look at it. So it's not in the book. Can we look for all of you?